As we gather today, I want to start by letting you both know how proud we are of you. Um, one of the greatest gifts that God gives us is a gift of choice. And we want to say to both of you, great job for consistently making good choices. First and foremost, you've made a choice to honor God in your life, to put Him first in your life, to surrender your life to Him. You've made great choices in your family, in your friends, and you're making a great choice in each other. So all of us say great job on being a Christ-honoring couple um, and great job on choosing each other. My beautiful bride, here we are. From the Facebook message to the first date to the first time I looked at you and realized you were going to be my future wife. This is where our forever begins, our story. We are turning the chapter in our lives and I'm ready to write the rest with you. I would marry you a thousand times over every day if I could because I choose you every day and every single time. I can't wait to see you, my beautiful blue-eyed bride. Let's start our family and let's start our life. Let's get married, shall we? Semper Fi, Connor. <laughs> my sweet groom, wow. I seriously cannot believe the day is finally here. The day we have dreamed of our entire lives day we have been praying for since the first time we saw each other. That night, June 21st, 2016, right outside my apartment, I still can picture it so perfectly in my head. You were the man I had been praying for my entire life, Connor. But that night changed my life forever. Connor, you are my greatest joy, my prized possession, and the one Jesus chose perfectly for me. Connor is literally the kindest, most genuine person I've ever met in my entire life. I just feel like the luckiest girl to be able to get to be his wife forever. Like, I feel so incredibly blessed that God gave him to me. Like, the, <laughs> like I feel just, I just feel, I don't know, I don't know what I did to this. <laughs> like, oh. So she is passionate about life and she expresses it through everything that she is. Um, the way that she smiles, uh, you can see it in her eyes and it, it, just, uh, <laughs> it, it just shines through every, everything that she does. Thank you Lord, we lift up um, Addison here today mm -hmm. and, and we lift her up before you and um, I pray that you just give them a huge hug as they walk through this life um, and you be the light of their path in every way. Thank you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I love it. You're beautiful, honey. Thanks. You look awesome. Day. Huh? Exactly. Yes, are you? Day. I like it. Do you think this is what you expected? Yes. Yes? Beautiful. Thank you. I hope you don't get too cold. I know. <laughs> I love a few things Connor has said. This will help you get to know Connor a little bit. Um, he said when talking about wedding details, he says, the only detail I care about it at the wedding is the girl. And all the bridesmaids said, ah, oh. <laughs> right? So sweet. He also said, um, I'm not planning, I'm not just planning for a wedding. More importantly, I'm planning for a marriage. For this reason, man should leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, the two will become one. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her brother and I. Madison Ray, I promise to always pursue you and continue to explore and discover more of you. To never stop learning new depths to your soul I promise to be the greatest encourager of your mind and a supporter of your dreams and a protector of your heart and provider of your love through Jesus. I promise to pray for us every day and to put you before myself, like watching The Bachelorette when I don't want to, <laughs> even though I secretly do sometimes. I promise when I make mistakes that I will get it right next time. And I promise to always think of and include you in every important decision and thought I have. I promise to always include you in any adventures that lay ahead of us. I promise to dance with you through the storms and to be your shoulder to cry on when the rain is heavy. 
I promise to tell you how beautiful you are through the years of wrinkles and rocking chairs. I promise to be your Bible devotional warrior by morning and your cuddle buddy by night. And I promise to be mindful and never take for granted that this marriage is my calling and I will answer every time. I promise to put God first and you second, and I accept the responsibility to seek His guidance in leading our family. Above all else, Madison Ray, I promise to cherish you as my beloved wife and to guide you to rest and comfort in Jesus. I promise to love you faithfully and unconditionally for as long as I have a breath to breathe. You have my everything and you have all of me. And I promise to lead everything we are to the cross to glorify Jesus' kingdom. These are my vows. This is my life. Man, with that, I think we might just need to kiss the bride and pronounce you husband and wife and call this thing good. It's all good. Connor and Marcus Abel, you are my one in seven billion, the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. You are my soulmate, my prayer warrior, and the one Jesus designed perfectly just for me. I wish I could stand here today and say that these vows and this piece of paper would be enough to describe the feelings that I have for you, but no words on a piece of paper will ever come close to conveying the overwhelming love that I have for you. When I look back on our crazy love story, I can't help but to realize how much Jesus has prepared us so perfectly for this exact moment. You shine from the inside out in a way that I have never seen another person shine before, and that is when my heart started burning for you. I promise to laugh with you, to cry with you, and to be by your side through all seasons of life. I promise to celebrate your achievements and to support you in every single thing that you do because as we face this world together, we will continue to grow stronger and stronger as husband and wife. I promise to be a daughter of the King before I am your wife. I promise to pray for you, to fight for you, and to stand strong with you as we pursue a life that honors Jesus in all that we do. I promise to show you constant grace and to be a loving and faithful wife who builds you up, encourages you, and believes in your dreams as if they were my own. I promise to fall more and more in love with you every single day and to not just act on a feeling, but to love you because of a promise we are making today. You can always count on me today, tomorrow. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. I pledge my life. I pledge my life. And my love. And my love. To you. To you. All I am. All I am. All I have. All all I hope to be, All I hope to be is, yours. is yours. In the name of the Father, in the, name of the, Father the, Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Connor, you may kiss your bride. It's my honor to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Miss Connor Abel. The wedding was absolutely gorgeous, wasn't it? Yes. yes, absolutely. God's gonna bless you exponentially um, with everything that He can give you. So, everybody, cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Connor Abel! Woo! Connor, Madison, congratulations, you two. Like I was saying last night, we were looking at the cover. All right, today's the first page. Fill it up, let's get on to the next one. Let's have fun with this journey. It's gonna be so exciting, I'm, I'm so thrilled for this. I love you both, and keep doing what you're doing, following through God's life, and keep being who you guys are. Cheers everybody, I love you. God, we come before you right now. God, I thank you for Connor and Madison. God, I thank you for the individuals that they are. God, that they, the way that they know you and serve you. And God, we thank you that not only are they incredible apart, they're even better together. And so God, we thank you for them. God, we thank you for their marriage. God, everything that you're gonna to continue to do in them and through them, God, in their lives, in their marriage, in their family. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen.